The Mariners are playing host to the White Sox, and the M's would come out swinging on Thursday. Bottom one, the second batter of the night for Seattle is Dustin Ackley, and he'll take Scott Carroll deep to right center field for a solo home run. It's just out of the reach of Moise Sierra, and it's gone. Number eight on the year for Ackley, one nothing M's. Bottom four now, same score until Andy Chavez steps in with one on and two down. Indy oh. high drive, did right he? field, did he did. He? Andy Chavez, a two-run homer. Andy Chavez with his second home run of the season. Gives the Mariners a 3-0 lead. But Seattle is far from done. Bottom five now, the all-star Robinson Cano steps up with one on and one down. High drive, right field. Going back Go is ball. Sierra. Go ball. Running out of Go room, ball. and it's gone. A two-run homer. Robinson Cano, the third Mariner home run tonight. That's Cano's ninth of the year. He's hitting 335 for the season. It's five zip Mariners. Bottom six now. It's a 5-2 game. Dustin Ackley's up with the bases loaded against White Sox reliever Daniel Webb. And Ackley delivers again. This time, he'll punch a two-run single into left field. The Mariners score three total in the frame and would lead 8-2 after six innings. Eighth inning now. It's 11-3 Mariners. And White Sox reliever Michael Clayto will plunk Kendry's Morales. The home plate umpire Toby Basner issues warnings to both clubs. Jose Abreu, the White Sox slugger, had been hit twice earlier in the game, Lloyd McClendon, the Mariner skipper, comes out to question the warnings to his club, and he would ultimately be tossed. But the M's would avenge their teammate and their manager. The next batter, Kyle Seeger, will rip one deep to right field for a two-run home run. It's the Mariners' fourth-round tripper of the game. Seattle takes a 13-3 lead there, and that would be your final. Seattle has now won three straight games. Cano is red hot. He's hitting 419 over his nine-game hit streak. Rowena Elias, the Seattle rookie, goes five and two-thirds and allows two earned runs to pick up the win. And White Sox pitching has allowed 67 runs over the team's last seven games. The Pale Holes are two and five in that span.